the, the, the generation to come. What happened to her? Why was she in jail? Because, like, you know, there's racism. So when the Panthers hit, the government panicked. 1968, the Panthers had expanded from that original office in Oakland, California, to about 30 different cities. Panther headquarters is in Berkeley, California. The Panthers moved here after their old headquarters in Oakland were shot up by two policemen who had been drinking on duty. The Oakland police, well known for its brutality, never misses the chance to harass the Black Panthers and even to shoot them. Attacks began early on in the Black Panther Party. First, Huey Newton gets into what the Oakland police says was a shootout. The facts. Nine shots. One dead policeman, another wounded, and Newton shot. And then Bobby Hutton, the first to join the Panthers in Oakland, was shot in the back and killed at age 17. He was running without arms, having left the basement where he and Eldridge Cleaver had taken refuge after a gun battle involving 50 policemen shooting a thousand rounds. And then it became more and more clear that our lives were in danger. We just came from Bobby Hutton's funeral. And I'm going to do as much as I can to inform white people of what they don't know. Because I myself as a white man have got a long way to go and a lot to learn. I haven't suffered the way you've suffered. And somehow that has to be translated to the white community now. And then my godfather, Geronimo Pratt. Geronimo Pratt. Had a top-ranked position with the Panthers on the West Coast. Geronimo was a war hero. Silver Star, Bronze Star, Purple Heart. And he trained the Black Panther Party with his military skills, not only in California, but all over the country. Come with me. Hellberry nigga, run quick, see. What do we have here now? Do you want to die or die? Die or die? 1969, the year of the Panthers. This is the year that we win. I was really excited. I said, I'm going to get my gun today. Yay. More books to read. Because the greatest, the most lethal weapon is a free and armed black mind. So the FBI director, Jake Hoover, the most powerful person in Washington, testifies before Congress. Of the black extremist groups, the Black Panthers represent the greatest internal threat to the nation. And with that, he got the funding he needed and the permission to do anything he wanted to do to destroy the Black Panther Party. Cointelpro. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. Cointelpro was an acronym for the counterintelligence program. It was first used against the Communist Party. After Malcolm X was assassinated, Hoover needed to make sure there would not be a new black messiah. Martin Luther King was a target. Stoked the car, Michael H. Ramp Brown, Max Stafford, the Black Panther Party was a target. Picture paragraphs are loaded. Wise words being quoted. People weakness in this rap game is so it. Down, down. 300 Los Angeles policemen are involved in a raging gun battle for nearly five hours. See you niggas coming from Special me. sniper squad borrowed armored vehicles from the Army, deploying the modern weapons of warfare used in Vietnam. A lot of the shootouts and raids on the Panthers were engineered by the FBI. We have a search warrant for this party. They raided every Panther's house, especially the ones they felt like could do the most damage as an orator. Now pay attention. The most famous example of that is the murder of Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton! Fred Hampton was a young man. 21 years old. The defense minister for the Illinois Black Panther Party. I just want to tell you. A man of peace. When Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton got together in 1966, they got together as peacemakers, not as peacebreakers. When an FBI informer drew the floor plans to Hampton's apartment and he gave that to the Chicago Police Department. Twelve minutes, there was gunfire in that apartment. Yet the federal grand jury concludes that only one possible shot could have come from the Panther record. A 20-year-old chairman of the Illinois Black Panther Party, Fred Hampton, was shot and killed in a pre-dawn shootout in his west side apartment. Fred Hampton was killed December... 1969. Another party member, 22-year-old Mark Clark of Peoria, also died in the shootout. In the year of the Panther. Ironically, more Panthers got killed and went to prison that year than any other year. While there is no evidence to support the theory of a government plot to smash the party, local police have responded, in some cases, with intelligence provided by the FBI's task force on the Panthers by raiding virtually every local headquarter. Files confiscated. 
even burn. It was the year of the L.A. shootout that officers were bombed, that they had brothers on the streets naked like they were runaway slaves. Literally 12 weeks after that New Year's issue, I was in prison facing 360 plus years, along with the Faini Shakur, the Moma Shakur. The grand jury has returned an indictment charging members of the Black Panther Party with the conspiracy to bomb New York City department stores, Macy's, Alexander's, Corvette. April 2nd of 69, I was awakened by someone holding fire to the people. Like five in the morning, the police put a match to my mother's door and said, Fire, open the door, get out, fire. So my mother opened the door and they burst in, put a shotgun to her belly, the gun to her head, and said, don't move. Move, motherfucker, bye, bye, and bye. I'll blow your fucking brain. You're under it. arrest. They went to everybody's house, and everybody had a story, including Jamal. In my case, a tactical patrol unit kicked in the door of my grandmother's house. 20 cops rushed in. So my last words to grandma as they were taking me out in handcuffs was call the Panther office. Information was received that some 10 or 12 members of the Black Panther Party in New York have already been arrested with pigs busting down doors while they're sleeping. I recall driving in FBI. <laughs> I can't think of anything they didn't have. Machine guns, shotguns, 357 Magnums, and rifles. I can't speak too highly of the detectives, 200 of whom are rounding up these defendants. If we'd have run, they would probably shot each other because it was just simply too much weaponry. Tell them the danger was great to the men involved. Did they encounter any resistance? No, they haven't. Chief, what types of weapons were seized? Arms, revolvers, rifles, masks, etc. Did they have bow and arrows and spears? We were told that. We had... When I learned about the unrep. Bow and arrows, my nagas. <clears throat> the type of nagas got bow and arrows, man. Hey, you think this is ancient history, man? You think this is ancient history, my naga? Oh, we talking, you know, uh, Columbus and slavery. Makes it seem like it's ancient history. But nah, man. <laughs> this ain't so ancient, is it? We seeing this with a dragonfly perspective, man. They afraid of the Naga messenger, man. They're afraid of the so-called black messenger. They say Messiah, Mashiach. That means messenger, man. Any messenger coming with that with that awakening, right? With that pop-offness. Oh, man, they too late for that. We already hit singularity, boss. <laughs> now it's an entire wave of Nagas. Wave of messengers. Collective Mashiach. All praise of Wah. We are the collective. Is slavery a choice? <laughs> Hawa gives you a choice. Either you choose up or you choose down. Either you listen, keep the code. You got your, you know, beautiful paradise. You don't listen. You got these curses, man. You curse everywhere we go. <laughs> well, everywhere we go in, everywhere we go out, man. Because we do not put the most high over everything. We just had a Mother's Day, right? A mothering day to who? Got all year to celebrate your mama. All year to pop off. But this one day, this one Sunday, you can't help. You got to be a part of a ritual. We got to be ritualistic with these people. That's behind all this. We got to do rituals with them too. Anaga, this ain't ancient history. If Naga put his hand to the fire, either you're going to learn a lesson or your ass going to get scorched, right? But we the crazy child holding the hand to the fire anyway. Choose up, KTC, because our captivity is a choice. But you got to see clearly. Allah, wow.